Hey, welcome, my name is Oli, and today we'll check this, the Razer ProClick. It's an ergonomic mouse designed for productivity. So not really for gaming, but the specs are interesting for gaming. So I decided to check if it's also good for gaming. I already made in the past a video about the Logitech MX Master 3 for gaming. The MX Master 3 is a fun mouse, but not the best for competitive gaming. Let's see if the Razer ProClick is better. I will do a quick unboxing, take a look on the specs and then check the performance in gaming and compare it to the MX Master 3 and the Deceder V3 Pro, which is Razer's most recent Ergo gaming mouse. So let's get started with the unboxing. The mouse is white with a nice aluminium frame and soft grey side grips. The first impression looks great and the quality too. The shape is great, the mouse was designed in collaboration with Human Scale, a famous company for ergonomic office furniture. The clicks feels good but the pre-travel at some point is not disabled. The scroll wheel is ok but not the best for gaming. You have side clicks on the scroll wheel. The PTFE fits looks and feel too small for this mouse size. With 106 grams the mouse is heavy but not as heavy as the MX Master 3 with 142 grams. It's heavy as the new Logitech G502X Plus. In the box you have the dongle and its micro USB connection. Well the mouse is almost 2 years old. Let's take a look on the specs. The mouse has a Razer 5G Advanced Sensor with 16,000 dpi. Specs as good as a gaming mouse back in 2020. But on the other end, the mouse is not well balanced. As a result, you feel the mass when the mouse is moving fast, which can fit uncomfortable in fast FPS games. So let's check the performance in games. For this, I choose Valorant Deathmatch Mode with 40 frags limit. I started with one mouse and at the middle of the game when the first player got 20 frags I switched the mouse. The reason I do this in the same games is to play with two different mice against the same players on the same map and in the same server. I will compare the Razer Pro Click with the MX Master 3 and with the Death Adder V3 Pro. I will play two games each time and show the number of frags I did with all mice. So here are the results in the first two games. I compared the MX Master 3 with the Razer Pro Click. In two games I have 22 frags with the MX Master 3 and 30 frags with the Razer Pro Click. And in the two other games I compared the Pro Click with the Deathhead V3 Pro and here I have 33 frags with the Pro Click and 35 frags with the Death Header. So in this type of games I'm clearly better with the Pro Click compared to the MX Master 3 but just a little bit worse compared to Deathheader V3 Pro, which is normal. The big difference with the MX Master 3 is the latency. The Razer Pro Click is here better. I still have on both the weight handicap and the unbalanced weight repartition. Here is where the Deathheader is better than both mice. It's a gaming mouse, lightweight, with perfect weight repartition and better sensor. This makes a huge difference. Also, the ergo shape is more aggressive than the ergo shape of a productivity mouse. That type of design it fits better your hands and it's good for slow movement. The ergo shape of the Pro Click is not appropriate for fast movement of your hand. So to sum up, the Razer Pro Click is after all a productivity mouse. But it's not bad for gaming. You don't feel that latency compared to the MX Master 3 due to his better specs. But the weight and unbalanced weight repartition combined with this cozy shape make it difficult to play competitive games even if it's possible. I didn't try a lot of games, but in MLab, for example, I have the same result. The Razer Pro Click is a great productivity mouse that is also possible to play with and you will have more fun compared to the MX Master 3. So all in all, if you are a casual player but you mainly do productivity tasks on your PC but want to play from time to time and don't want to buy an extra gaming mouse, then the Razer Pro Click is a good compromise for $100 or Euros. But if you want to have fun, I will advise to buy an extra mouse for gaming. You can still find some cheap gaming mouse which have good performance in gaming like the Razer Orochi or Logitech G305. You can find both mice for less than 50 bucks. So that is for today, I hope you enjoy it, if so please drop a like and don't forget to subscribe in order to not miss the next one and if you want follow me on Twitter as well. Thank you for watching and see you next time, bye bye.